the Trump administration is waging a linguistic battle across official Washington, seeking to shift public perception of key policies by changing the way the federal government talks about climate change, scientific evidence, and disadvantaged communities. The push drew fresh attention after employees at the Department of Health and Human Services were told to avoid certain words including vulnerable, entitlement and diversity when preparing requests for next year's budget. But the effort to disappear certain language and replace it with other terms is much broader, sparking resistance from career officials in federal agencies, outside experts and congressional Democrats. Climate change, for example, has for months presented a linguistic minefield, references to it have been purged repeatedly at the Environmental Protection Agency and the Interior Department. And in late summer, the Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention issued a language guidance document to employees and contractors bearing a column of words and phrases to be avoided, alongside a column of acceptable alternatives. The one-page document recommends using all youth instead of underserved youth, referring to crime as a public issue slash public concern rather than a public health issue slash public health concern and describing young people who commit crimes as offenders rather than system-involved or justice-involved youths, according to a copy of the document obtained by the Washington Post. The document also says to avoid the term substance abuse disorder in favor of substance abuse issue, a change that runs counter to efforts by experts to cast substance abuse as a disease. A Justice Department official, who was not authorized to speak publicly, said the recommended terminology is intended to be more accurate and better reflect Justice Department priorities. The desire to literally change the conversation in Washington is nothing new. For decades, incoming administrations have sought to advance their political agendas by rebranding existing initiatives and lifting new words to prominence in White House news releases. After winning the election on a vow to end the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, President Barack Obama dropped George W. Bush-era references to the global war on terror, creating a new budget category labeled Overseas Contingency Operations. Meanwhile, Obama appointees at HHS abandoned the term unaccompanied alien children, replacing it with unaccompanied minors. The current administration has reverted to alien children, which is statutory language. But even in the context of this historical tug of war, the chasm between President Donald Trump's top deputies and the federal workers charged with carrying out government policies appears particularly wide. The administration correctly understands that they are battling a hostile bureaucracy, said Barry Bennett, a GOP consultant who advised the president during last year's general election campaign. The left likes to think that words are very important, particularly if it's words they don't like. Well, the right thinks that, too.